Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. About two years ago, before the COVID, we had an open house in a masjid in Chicago. Many people came, they socialized with us, you know, they ate with us, and they listened to a lecture about Islam. Then we opened the floor for Q&A. In the Q&A session, the very first question that came was, hey, what is the Sharia law? And when I looked at the person asking the question, that person was the mayor of the city, a non-Muslim person who came. The second question from the audience was, what is jihad? Third question, multiple marriages. And I was thinking, you know, these are simple answers. How come these people, they don't know about these answers? But then I was thinking, you know, me, Sabir, and the Muslims, we have not done a good job of sharing with them what Islam is, clearing the misconceptions, and letting them know the beautiful guidance of the Quran and of Islam. So Alhamdulillah, myself, Sabil Ahmad, along with instructors, mashallah, will be teaching a course. The course title is Misconceptions About Islam. And the reason we are teaching this course is because not only there are misconceptions, but these misconceptions, unfortunately, they create a fear of the unknown. They create many, many walls. Now people are suspicious about Islam, about Muslim, so th these kind of courses and this topic is of immense importance. You know, unfortunately, when we see around us, our youth are asking questions about, you know, what they're exposed to in the media, maybe the social media, the Instagram, the Facebook, the YouTube. So you, our youth, unfortunately, they're getting shaken in their faith. So we as adults, we as parents, we need to know. The answers to the common questions or the not so common questions people ask about Islam. So this course of misconceptions about Islam conducted by the National Dawa Academy in conjugation with Why Islam and Gain Peace and Ask a Muslim, we want to share not only the answers to the misconceptions. You know, you can find the answers anywhere. There are so many books, so many YouTube videos, but the main advantage of taking this course is how to package those answers, how to start, where to finish, right? In what sequence that we should have uh, the, the response to a misconception, what examples to give, what analogies to give, what evidence to give. So how to package our responses to clear the misconceptions is of immense importance. So inshallah, as you take this course, not only you will feel a empowerment within yourself, but you can feel inshallah, a boosting of the Iman that is so important and we as parents now, now we can educate our own children and the best thing would be once you're standing standing in front of a Dawa booth or conducting an open house or taking a telephone call from a non-Muslim or part of the interfaith panel or anytime anywhere you have the opportunity to share Islam and to clear the misconceptions the material the contents in from this course will be of immense importance to you inshallah some of the topics that i would be covering is you know sharia major misconceptions people fear what sharia is they don't want sharia to be in the usa there are so many local uh, you know laws which are passed in many many states that bans sharia right quote unquote it bans sharia jihad people equate jihad with terrorism and holy war and you know extremism killing of the innocent killing the infidels it's important for us to let them know what jihad is and what jihad is not. You know, myths versus facts. Same thing about jizya, women in Islam, uh, Quran, is it a book of violence or a book of peace? You know, hijab. Any and all of these misconceptions, inshallah, for many, many weeks, we'll be going over one misconception per week. We will dig that into detail. Not only that, inshallah, there would be live interaction, discussions, there would be breakout groups, there would be mock sessions, assignments given. All of them will create value and inshallah at the end of the day, all of us together as Muslims, we want to make sure that we fulfill the responsibility that Allah has given to us. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُحَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا that Allah says that you have been made an ummah justly balanced, that you become witnesses to humanity. The way the messenger of Allah was a witness over you. So let's hope and pray that all of us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us guided, 
keep us protected, keep us united and make us ambassadors of Islam, not just to the people of US, but to all of humanity. Please register for the course. Inshallah, I will see you in the class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, I have a book called Know Your Lord. That's where I'm going to be teaching the curriculum from, inshallah. Allahu Akbar.